this incident brought the match fixing controversy back into the limelight. The controversy that started off with Cronier's confession in early April took a dramatic turn after simultaneous raids were conducted over two days, nine cities, 16 lockers, and 84 residential and official premises. The case so far being handled by the Central Bureau of Investigations roped in income tax authorities as well in clinching crucial evidence related to betting. We have got evidence of unexplained expenditure, unexplained investment, undisclosed assets, the best, uh, assets which have been valued low. We have evidence of large-scale gifts, very large-scale gifts in lakhs of rupees received, gifts received from outside, gifts received in shape of assets such as vehicle, etc. There are several types of evidence. Then in case of bookies, we have got the betting accounts, the plus-minus accounts, we call it. Though the nature of raids was unprecedented in the history of the game, it was not unexpected. Some of the cricket icons who were targeted were Indian team coach Kapil Dev, former skipper Mohammad Azuruddin, Ajay Jadeja, Nikhil Chopra, Navjot Sidhu and Ajay Sharma. The man who created the Tehelka sensation was not spared either. Now it should be clean. It means that the public will come in front of the public. और जैसे मैं बोलता आया हूं दूध का दूध पानी होना चाहिए और वो हो जाएगा कमेंटेटर्स फील दिस इंसिडेंट वुड पुट क्रिकेटर्स ऑन द बैक फुट येट अगेन नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हेयर डिड दे गेट ऑल दिस मनी फ्रॉम अदर देन क्रिकेट आई मीन दे सर्टेनली कुंट हैव मेड ऑल दिस मनी जस्ट आउट ऑफ क्रिकेट वेल इफ इट वाज ऑल इन बिजनेस एलाइड बिजनेसेस व्हिच दे हैड अदर देन क्रिकेट वेल देयर हैज गॉट टू बी अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन व्हेदर दैट वाज राइट और रॉन्ग अदर देन द प्लेयर्स एंड क्रिकेट मैनेजर्स Bookies also fell into the IT net. Copies of fixed deposits amounting to more than rupees 10 billion were recovered from the Board of Control of Cricket in India's treasurer, Kishore Rungta's office. To establish links, search was also carried out at the premises of Worldtel owner, Mark Mascaranis in Bangalore. Sports Minister S.S. Deensa asserted that the search operations might not provide the vital clue and only a Cronier-like deposition may prove something. अगर वो अपनी साफ बात मान ले देते हैं तो उन पर लीनियंट व्यू भी लेना चाहिए और उनको मेरी सलाह है कि उनको अगर किसी में है तो उनको मान लेना चाहिए और इससे एक तो जल्दी गेम के लिए भी अच्छा होगा और काम भी जल्दी खत्म हो जाएगा और आगे से भी उसके लिए कोई ना कोई कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट वगैरह हो सकता है for the first time after the scandal broke out, a lot of things have been kind of, I mean, loopholes have been plugged. Now things like cell phones being banned and, you know, players being completely banned from placing any kind of bet in any sport. And then, you know, there's a bar on writing. There are so many, there are so many specific clauses. I mean, the code of conduct has never been so specific. The government's decision to introduce a set of conduct for players seems one measure to avoid further scams related to the game. Analysts feel such a move will prove little. On the face of it, I don't see there's anything uh, new in this code of conduct. These things have been, from time to time, they've been um, putting it in the contracts and things like that. But what is the point in having some laws on the paper or rules on the paper unless somebody has the uh, will and uh, uh, this thing to implement them and take action on such issues? But with the present set of laws related to match fixing, one is not sure of how this scandal would be brought to a legitimate conclusion.